Hello my friends, welcome to the final practical tutorial of this section on k-means clustering. So I have a question for you. Are you ready to implement this visualization of the clusters? Get ready, we're gonna have a bit of work. All right, so let's do this, let's create a new code cell. And so what are we gonna do? We're simply going to scatter all the customers and the centuries of the cluster in a graph in which the x-axis is going to be the annual incomes of the customers right? That's our first independent variable. And the y-axis is going to be the spending scores of the customers, as this is our second independent variable, right? And on the graph, we'll plot all the customers, the centroids of the clusters, and also we will distinguish with different colors in which cluster each customer belongs to. So you will have a cluster of red points, for example, belonging to cluster of index zero, then a cluster of blue points belonging to cluster one, etc. All right, so let's do this. I hope you're feeling in good shape. But the good news is to start with is that the way to scatter all these points is by using a certain function of the pyplot module from the matplotlib library. And well, the name of this function is scatter, as simple as that. So first, let's call our pyplot module, which has a shortcut name plt, from which we're gonna call the scatter function, there we go, in which we're gonna enter, well, first, the coordinates of our customers belonging to each cluster. But in order to select separately the customers belonging to each cluster, well, we need to do this in five lines of code, right? Because we have five clusters, where in each line, we're gonna take care of each cluster. And so here, we're gonna start with cluster of index zero. And so we're gonna scatter all the customers belonging to index zero. And the way to do this is to enter here in the first two arguments the coordinates of our customers, which are in the x-axis, the annual income, and in the y-axis, the spending score. And we're gonna select only the ones that belong to cluster of index zero. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. First, we have to enter here the x-coordinate of those customers. And the way we're gonna do this is take our array of independent variables x, add a pair of square brackets, and inside, you're gonna enter first y underscore pred double equal zero because we wanna select first the customers belonging to cluster of index zero and then add a comma and then specify the index of the column in x that will give us that first coordinate which is the annual income. And well, since the annual incomes are the first column of our array of independent variables x, well here we need to specify the index zero, right? Because that's the index of the first column. Okay, and so this, you know, all this gives us exactly all the annual incomes of the customers belonging to cluster of index zero, right? Which is exactly what we specify here thanks to this ypred double equals zero, all right? And that's only for the first argument of the scatter function, meaning we get all the x coordinates of the customers belonging to cluster of index zero. And now we're gonna do exactly the same for the Y coordinates of all those customers belonging to index zero. And so what we can simply do here is take this, copy it, paste that here. And now according to you, what do we need to replace? Well, we still want all the customers belonging to cluster of index zero. And so that we don't change. But now since we want the Y coordinate and the Y coordinate is exactly the spending score, well, we're gonna get the second column of our array of independent variables x, which has the index one, okay? And that's it. Now with this, you have the coordinates of all the customers belonging to the cluster of index zero, all right? And that's it. Now the rest of this implementation will be super easy because we're gonna do some copy paste by just changing the index of the clusters. But first, let's just make a nice plot by choosing a size for our points of customers, which we're gonna choose equal to be 100. So that's completely your choice. I just tried different values here, which will give us in the end a nice plot. But there you go. Let's choose a size of 100 for all the points representing our customers. And then of course, since we want to distinguish the different clusters, we're gonna choose a certain color for all our customers here belonging to cluster of index zero, right? And so let's choose the red color. And to do this, we need to add here C for color equal to, in quotes, well, the color you want, and let's choose red, all right? And finally, let's choose a label for this cluster, and we're gonna give it the label 
cluster either one if you want to count from one or zero if you want to count with the indexes. All right, and that's it. With this line of code, we scatter all the customers that belong to cluster zero and they're gonna be in red, okay? So now let's do very efficiently the same for the other clusters. So I've copied this line and in a new line of code, I'm gonna paste it. And now, well, please press pause on this video and try to make the change that will give you the customers belonging to the cluster of index one this time. All right, and please choose the color blue. All right, so now let's do this together. Well, the only thing that you have to change is here, y pred double equal not zero, but of course one, because now we wanna select all the customers belonging to cluster of index one. And so here, same, I replace zero by one, then I choose the same size, then the blue color and a label cluster one. All right, then same, paste again, we're gonna select all the customers belonging to cluster of index two this time. So it's the same here, two. And then we're gonna choose the color what? Let's choose green and a label cluster two. Then next cluster, the cluster of index three. And same here. Then let's choose the color, well, let's say cyan, okay? And label three. And finally, our final cluster, we're gonna select all the customers belonging to cluster of index four, and same for here, y pred double equal four, then same size, and then we're gonna choose the color, let's say magenta. And of course, we're gonna give it the label cluster four. All right, how about we take a small break and we'll do the rest of this implementation in the next tutorial.